dogs now. Because um, my, my parents say to get the dogs. Sure, you know, that's what they pay me for, so, you know, they, they better do what I say. Um, <laughs> um, when I start a shoot, always, I've got a few sort of normal sayings that I say to people. It's to try and put them at ease, but to also let them know that even though it's a fun experience for them, for the dogs, mainly for the dogs, but also for the humans as well, if they follow my guidelines, it's going to run smoother and a lot better, and I will end up with the images that create art for their world. So one of my mantras is, I saw every shoot with five big bags of patients, I've never run out yet. It's like, what I do. Um, <laughs> uh, he's actually got a trick because he knows my level of voice and when I lose normal patients, and you can hear my tone changing, and his wee trick is, can I check your exposure? And that means for a good time. <laughs> right. So my other mantra is uh, when um, I'm telling them about how the shoot's going to be run, I'll say, when you see me going in for a shot, don't say a word. Because if you shout on the dog, the dog will move and I'll miss my shot. Right? So until I tell you to say something, keep strong. When I do tell you to say something, I want you to make funny noises. Stupid noises, the sillier you are, the better it is because the dog's going to look at you and say, What on earth are you doing? and I'm going to get that shot. Right? The other thing that I say to them is, Don't use the dog's name because everybody who's got a dog has trained them to come to the name. So if the dog's there and I'm not in the shot, and if they and I say to them to make a funny noise and they go, Fido, the dog's going to run to them, so I'm going to miss the shot. So I always say, Don't use the dog's name. And that is quite important. Um, another bit is, that I will say is I will never ever shout at a dog. The dog can do whatever it wants. If it doesn't like a particular scene or set, we'll try once or twice. If it's still not successful, we'll move on. It's a big enough place, we'll just have fun. It's very much at the dog's pace. So I will never ever shout at a dog. I might shout at you though. Ha ha ha. So again, it puts them at ease. But going back to that name thing, um, there was one particular shoot about two years ago. It was a wee swearing word in this um, <laughs> Just for one of you. Um, and it was a couple, middle-aged, and they had a German Shepherd. Uh, totally untrained German Shepherd. Um, and I'd done my usual mantra, by patients, blah, 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 don't use the name. So he laid down in front of me and I spotted my first shot, instantly went down, he shouted the dog's name. So I thought, right, okay, don't shout the dog's name. It went on and on and on throughout the shoot. He kept shouting the dog's name. Every time I was going in for a shot, he was shouting the dog's name. Even his wife started shouting at him and saying, stop using the dog's name, use a funny noise. So I was up the top field, the one with the, 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 the old tall grasses, and we were sitting chatting, I was saying what I was wanting for the next shot, how we were going to set it up, because it was a running action shot, jumping through the, the, the tall grasses. And the dog actually lay down, in amongst the grasses, and I thought, that's going to be a brilliant shot. So, without one saying it then, I just jumped down and was about to take the shot. Did he not see his name? Well, the camera's up at my face at this point, and he said, I can't remember the dog's name actually, I think it was Gary or something like that. He went, Gary, and I, would you shut the fuck up? <laughs> <laughs> it, sorry, Mum. <laughs> <laughs> So, I mean, it was just out of my mouth, it flew out of my mouth without thinking, you know when you get an out of body experience almost? And I kept the camera up there, I've missed the shot actually, and I thought, oh no, and it went silent. And so I took the camera down, got up, and we were, no, not a word. So we walked down the background, to my Christmas tree bit, carried on doing the shot. He never said the dog's name again. <laughs> never. Right? And I thought, oh god, I'm going to get a huge bad review about this one for swearing at a client. So two days later, the review came up and he could not glow enough. He said, that was the most fantastic shoot I've ever been on and thank you very much for putting me in my place. So I got away with it. So yes, so I, I, I don't do it very often, but yes, I have been on. Um, but going back to this, yes, so there is a bit in here that I do get a wee bit bossy. Um, uh, with the, the lady, but yes, I mean this this shows you the, the one of the action shots, the chicken cheese shot actually it does, and also an action shot. Um, I'll stand this side so you can see.
my glamorous waterproofs. Ooh, sexy. Thank <laughs> you.